On March the 20th, 1948, the day after the shock at the Security Council, the Jews suffered another blow. Abdel Kader's fighters, thousands of fellaheen, attacked the convoy with fury, shouting battle cries. For the first time, a convoy failed to break through to Jerusalem. I suddenly entered an unbelievable barrage of fire. It was like hell. The convoy was in flames. From every side, men and women were jumping out of blazing vehicles. Drivers jumped from their burning trucks and were killed in the ditches. The armored vehicles returned fire. I ran through this hell and suddenly, right in front of me, a vehicle went over a mine and was blown into the air. Nineteen vehicles were trapped at the side of the road. Some of them can still be seen there today, memorials to those days of awe and glory. When the chairman of the Jewish agency, David Ben-Gurion, heard the news, he understood at once. Jerusalem was now under siege. Ben-Gurion concluded that the concept of passive defense was bankrupt. He now ordered an offensive, aimed primarily at breaking the siege of Jerusalem. It was clear that Jerusalem would not be able to hold out without supplies. We would not be able to send convoys unless we kept to their commanding positions no matter what, in spite of the British. It sounds crazy, but many things arise that seem crazy at first when there is no other choice. The battle for Jerusalem became the symbol of the 1948 war. It is